Gaming Bolt presents Top 10 Upcoming Games of February 2018. If last year proved anything, it's that the earliest months of the year can be the busiest. This year, February is again rife with numerous top tier releases and at least one or two disasters waiting to happen. Here are the top 10 games you should follow for February 2018. EA Sports UFC 3 EA Sports UFC 3 is coming, and yes, Ultimate Team Mode has microtransactions which lets you enhance fighters for the best results. For the rest of the experience though, it's all about submissions, your mat game, and conserving your stamina. EA Sports UFC 3 changes its career mode up by implementing GOAT. In this mode, you can make decisions to advance your fighter's career, engage in social media feuds with other fighters to build your public image, and much more. It releases for Xbox One and PS4 on February 2nd. Shadow of the Colossus During the PlayStation 2 era, there was a game that stuck out among the various exclusives, Team Ico's Shadow of the Colossus. The studio's first game may have presented a unique artistic vision, but Shadow of the Colossus did the same and was also an awesome game. Blue Point Games is bringing that experience to the PS4, but in a brand new way. Remaking the game's visuals from the ground up with new textures and enhanced draw distance and oodles more detail. This is still the same classic you remember though. Hunt down enormous colossi with your trusted horse aggro. Find out how to defeat them and move on to the next. Shadow of the Colossus is out on February 6th for PS4 and trust us when we say you don't want to miss it. Dragon Quest Builders, Nintendo Switch Dragon Quest Builders is a sandbox action role-playing game set in Alephgard, the world of the original Dragon Quest. Originally released on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation Vita, the game is now coming to the Nintendo Switch. The game follows the parallel ending of Dragon Quest wherein the hero agrees with Dragon Lord's suggestion, which was actually a trap. We'll see how all of this turns out when the game launches on February 9th. Dynasty Warriors 9 with a new generation comes change. You wouldn't expect Omega Force's Dynasty Warriors to follow that path, but the Musou developer is going all out to revamp the experience with Dynasty Warriors 9. It introduces an open world rife with main story missions and side quests, a day-night cycle with dynamic weather, weapon crafting, and the ability to customize your own hideout. There are more than 83 characters to play, with revised movesets along with the same large-scale battles that fans love. Dynasty Warriors 9 is out on February 13th for Xbox One, PS4, and PC, so we'll just see how far it changes from the formula. Long Gone Days Long Gone Days is a unique RPG with visual novel elements being developed by an independent creator known as Kamala Gormaz and her small studio, Burra. It began life as an RPG Maker 2000 project back in the conceptual stage. But the huge success of a demo built of this game drove a successful Indiegogo campaign that raised enough money to create a full title, now set to release February 18th, 2018. The game will release at first with Windows PC, Apple Mac OS, and Linux OS compatibility, with other systems open to consideration later on. Bayonetta 1 and 2 The Bullet Witch finally comes to the Nintendo Switch. Bayonetta 3 is still a ways out, but in the meantime, we're getting double game package Bayonetta 1 and 2. We've already seen the graphical enhancements provided by Bayonetta 1 when it released for PC last year. It's Bayonetta 2 on the Switch, which should prove more interesting. If, like many people, you didn't pick up a Wii U and happened to miss the critically acclaimed sequel, this is the best way to experience it. Plus, you'll receive a portable version of the first game as well. Bayonetta 1 and 2 arrive for the Nintendo Switch on February 16th. Fee Making music, scaling giant beasts without administering the coup de grace a la Shadow of the Colossus, or simply singing to animals in Zoink Studios platformer Fee. Published under the EA Originals label, Fee will feature a main quest that's 7 to 8 hours long, but promises a huge world with plenty of secrets. The art direction and unique gameplay mechanics have us interested, but will it stand out in this season of excellent indie platformers like Celeste and Iconoclasts? We'll find out when Fee releases on February 16th for Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Nintendo Switch. 
Secret of Mana. You've probably heard of Secret of Mana and what an influence it had on the hack and slash action RPG genre. If you've yet to find a game to scratch that itch, and cross codes updates are too slow, then Secret of Mana is worth revisiting for PS4, PS Vita, and PC. This version is a full remake with 3D graphics and features full voice work, new arrangements for classic tracks, more AI options for your teammates, mini-maps, and an autosave function. Secret of Mana is out on February 15th, and we can't wait to see how it plays. Metal Gear Survive We'll be perfectly honest here. Metal Gear Survive's open-world survival and stealth mechanics, combined with zombie crystal things, has us bizarrely intrigued. Maybe it's because this is unlike anything we've ever seen from the MGS series, or maybe there's something deeper that's worth looking forward to. It may also be like watching a train wreck in slow motion, complete with microtransactions. Would that be a money train wreck, then? Either way, Metal Gear Survive releases on February 20th for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Check it out if you happen to pick up the other nine games on this list, finish them, and don't have the good sense to play anything else. Age of Empires Definitive Edition If you grew up in the 90s, then real-time strategy gaming on the PC was consistently amazing. Command & Conquer Red Alert, StarCraft, Warcraft 2, there was no shortage of awesome games to play, and Age of Empires was among them. The Classic returns on February 20th as Age of Empires Definitive Edition. Revamped graphics with 4K resolution support, numerous improvements and quality of life features, full online support, and a completely redone soundtrack. What more could you want? Aside from remakes of other games, which also, thankfully, are in development. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.